Hello and welcome to Texture Tutorials. Uh, this is a mini series on iterators and generators. Um, in this series, the first part would be understanding the iterables and iterators. So here it is. And the next tutorial, I'll go through generators and its use. Now, this is a little bit of complex subject. So in order to explain in a simple language, it's a little difficult, but I'll try my best. And as I said, always try to understand the fundamentals uh, before moving on to complex stuff. Arrays in JavaScript are considered iterable because you have elements and you have index and you can iterate through each element using for loop uh, or like for each. Uh, however, if you have an object such as such as this, where you have a key value pairs, uh, this is not considered as iterable. Now, how do you know what is iterable and what is not? So recently, uh, the latest version of JavaScript introduced uh, um, something called symbol.iterator. It's a property in iterable objects and you can find out using this. So if I take an array like this and I can look it inside uh, what property it has in its prototype using console.dir this should give me the detail on this this object and if i run this i should get uh, array and i should get something called proto within that i have all the prototype methods for it and one of the method is actually called symbol dot iterator uh, this is recently added to all the iterable objects if i do the same thing for this particular object and if i run this I would get uh, this object here and if I look at its prototype I would not get anything uh, I would not get that method symbol that iterator so that is the difference between um, iterable objects and non iterable objects this is a non iterable uh, JavaScript recently introduced a few new data structures uh, JavaScript has now sets weak sets map and weak maps uh, these are all iterables. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm just going to pick one like sets. Sets are um, array-like objects uh, with, with only accepts unique values. So for example, I can create a new set. Uh, so I can say let my set equal to, I have to use a new keyword and set with S capital. And within that I can define sort of an array and so it's one two 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 three okay now whatever because a set it only accepts a uh, unique key so it will throw out anything that is console dir my set i should see the same behavior so if i run this i should get this set um, and you can see the values it has this uh, entries field where you have uh, unique values one two and three so it, and if you look at this prototype i should see the same thing similar iterator um, another thing about this similar iterator it allows you to use a new for loop called for off uh, how does this work so i can say i can loop through the elements of this set using for off so i can say for and the way I would say is let I create a variable here, um, value off, and then off of this set. So my set. And I can say console.log val. Now this should print one, two, and three. Because the set, it doesn't print all the values because it doesn't have it cannot do duplicates so if I run this I would get one two and three I cannot use the same thing on this object um, however it does have a method called for in so I can say for let val off um, an object and I should say actually key because it prints all the keys. Um, if I say console log key, 
it should print all the keys. Ah, oh, actually, I should say, as I said, it won't work because it gives you error because it, as you can see, it says uncaught type error symbol dot iterator is not a function, uh, so it won't work on this. Uh, I can do in. I clear this and run this again. I would get all the keys: name, age, friends, and get name. Um, however, there is a weakness to this. It, it it would print out all the the keys, including anything that is defined by user and its prototype. From the iterable, now let's move to iterator. Uh, so we looked at this uh, a new property that was introduced called symbol dot iterator uh, that is only available in iterable objects uh, like string sets. Um, you know, uh, so you can use this particular property is nothing but a function. Um, it's a product of function that is available to all the iterable objects. Uh, you can run this uh, function to get an iterator out. So the way you can do it is um, if I define an array, uh, my array equal to, I can define one, two, three, four, five. And I can say um, iterator equal to uh, my array and symbol dot iterator and I can execute execute this function uh, so this is this this function is available already in the pro prototype of this array and I can run this <clears throat> function um, and I would get an iterator so this iterator is very interesting I can actually um, run a next method on this iterator and it would give me each value um, one by one so the way it would work is I can say iterator and dot next. I can actually console log this. Um, if I run this, it gives me two things. It give me the it will it gives me the value, the first value of this array, which is one, and it would give me another property called done. Uh, using this property, I can determine if I'm at the end of this array or not. Right now, I'm at the beginning because it has uh, five elements total, right? it won't give me done equal to false until I get to the last element. So if I print this five times, I will get uh, five different values. I will get one, the first, two, three, four, five. And every time done is still false. I have reached last element, which is five, and done is still false. Um, now if I call it again, now the value will be undefined and done will be true. So at this point, I will stop. Uh, now, this iterator is really useful uh, when you use it uh, in combination with generators. So that would be the next uh, tutorial. Uh, you can follow the link after this tutorial to go into this next tutorial. And that's when we learn about generators and real use of this iterator. And if you learn something from this tutorial, uh, please provide a constructive comment uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel for future cool videos.